not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up the football gods. And here I am. I, I see you. We've had, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. I'm going to tell you Eagle fans that are up in here. Okay. You Eagle fans that are up in here right now. Let me ring the damn gong again and again. I'm going to say it. I'm wait. wait can, can you hear me? Yeah, let me do a mic check here. I see you cockroaches. Okay, let, 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 let me get you guys close. I see you cockroaches that have descended like the lights have gone off all over the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> All of you, all of you in here because you're overconfident. You think that you're unbeatable. You think that you're all that in a ham sandwich. You think you're that good. Well, I'm here to tell you, like D-Law said, D-Law said, shout out to you, Chris May. Thank you for the Christmas card, excuse me, birthday card and, and the gift that was in it. I appreciate it, Chris. I'm, but look. If, if we beat the Eagles Sunday, it's Christmas in October, okay? Christmas in October. But I'm going to tell you guys, okay? I took that bet with Philly 500, even though we're, you know, you guys are favored by six and a half points. We're on the road. You know, we got a rookie left tackle. We got a backup quarterback. You know, we've got, you know, what you guys say, a stupid coach, that you guys got the better offensive line, as Philly 500 said. You got the best wide receiver in football, you know, with A.J. Brown. You got the best running game in football. You got the best defense. You've got the game changer in Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis, the playmaker. No, no, no. Jordan Davis only had 11 tackles. 11. And, yeah, well, and how many tanks of oxygen has it gone through? How many tanks of oxygen? 11. So but I'm going to tell you, you're frauds. Jordan Davis you're frauds. No, no. Let me say shout out to Foots the King. Foots the King. I saw a tweet. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but it sounds about right because we know that the Detroit Lions defense is one of the worst in football. But do you know, Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction, gig economy that the Eagles have had, as far as defenses that they played, the 31st, 31st schedule. As in, you played, there's only one team that's played lesser defenses than you guys. You sorry mother humpers. And you ain't seen the law. You ain't seen the reincarnation of LT. You ain't seen the big man and Quentin Bohannon. You ain't seen Mr. Hands himself, O.C. and Digazua. You ain't seen a reborn Dante Fowler. You ain't seen a Leighton Van Der Esch, a Leighton Van Der Esch. You ain't seen the shutdown corner, Diggs. You ain't seen Anthony Barr. With the sensei, Dan Quinn, they're coming to your house and they're going to kick your teeth in. D-Law said, I ain't taking no more questions on Jalen Hurts. In other words, the answers will be on the field. Now, I just want to say something here to all you Eagle fans right now, because I know you're watching. Some of you are watching and you're not saying anything. Okay. I know you're watching. I know you mother humpers all off season, every single day, Philly 500 text messaging me pictures of, of, uh, uh, that damn Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis there used to be Jordan Davis, uh, 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 YouTube handles that were coming here. Yeah, but I'm coming for your meats, yeah, Mark Holmes. You know why they're not there anymore? Because they know he's. Because ass. they know. Yeah, we well, don't want to remind you that that we spent all that on that first round Four pick. Four picks and two of them were number ones. You guys have been here descending like cockroaches all over this channel, telling us how good. I literally saw it last night when we were watching the second worst game known to mankind, the Washington Commanders. Versus the bad news, and I mean bad, bad, bad news, Bears.
Because they should have won that game. That was ugly. Bad news, Bears. I mean, if my man had control of the ball. One of you Eagle fans said, we going to beat you 55 to 3. <laughs> Who's going to put 55 points on the board? You are delusional if you think going to put 55 I, points I, I on literally the board. said. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> There's no way in the world. It's going to be a close game. You know what? It's going to be a close game. Enough is enough. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Everybody strap in. I'm about to open some fucking windows. Now, I'm going to say something to you cockroaches right now. Right now, okay? Because you know what? When the Cowboys got their teeth kicked in against Tampa Bay, my quarterback broke his hands. Everybody, and I mean everybody, said that team is done. They're out of here. Their Caesars, Cowboy fans, I'm sick of this shit. They left. Yeah, how? Yeah, they left. That's, that's a good question. What's that? How do you how, how do you have 400 yards and only put seven points on the board last night? Because you're the bad, bad, bad news bears. That's how. <laughs> but but let, 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 let me finish preaching here because we're going to church on Sunday. All of you... Cockroach Eagle fans, listen up. Because when my season was technically, or, or, or you know, as, as they told us, over, I showed up every day. Every day, taking the abuse from you guys, telling us how good you are. And each week when you guys, because the first week it was ugly. Because Washington won. The Giants won. The Eagles won. And we were the redheaded stepchild of the division. You guys stick. The Cowboys, their season's over. Washington, they look pretty good now. Carson Wentz, he got the very first Commander's victory in the inaugural game. The Eagles, oh my God, you know, 38 points from Jalen Hurts, even though they gave up 35. Oh, well, that was garbage time. That was garbage time for, okay, you know what? All right, I, I hear you, I hear you. The Eagles are not but I took that, team. but I took that, I took that shit. I took that shit. Every single day, every single day, I come out here three, four, four, okay, listen, I'm not kidding. who am I kidding? Seven, eight, nine, ten times a day, taking your shit. If you lose in your house after all of the crap that you guys have said to me for the last six months, at least be man enough to come in and say, congratulations. At least come in and say congratulations. Ain't gonna do that. Because then you're not a sorry ass cockroach. You're not that fair 